Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease, it's obvious. Today we're gonna be talking about this glitch in the matrix of what appears to be a plane stuck in, just stuck in the air. Um, there's a lot of other videos where the plane is caught stuck in the air and I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty trippy, it's pretty mind blowing and there's all kinds of different feedback. So all kinds of comments saying, you know, this, this is not real. You know, the planes do this and other people are saying that the planes don't move. So it's very controversial and there's just so many different sides on this video. Let me just show you first this video that I posted that I got from someone and then I'm going to show you all the other videos, just a bunch of other videos of planes caught in uh caught still in the air okay so here's the video that i posted so yeah that that that's the video and to me i mean this clearly shows me that this plane is stuck in the air i don't know if it's cgi right i don't know if this is cgi but this, my whole point with this that I'm going to be getting to more is, you know, this, this life is basically like a virtual reality. And this is where we're forgetting that this is just the third dimension, right? This is just the third dimension. Okay. So just please realize this, that there's so much more that can happen that you don't even, you can't even wrap your head around, right? Like life, life is trippy. Like it's, it's not obvious as it seems, right? It's not as obvious. Like this life. It's basically a holographic simulated reality where our soul may be just here to learn, grow, and fulfill certain even karmas, right? So why is it like a hologram? Why is this life like a hologram? This life is like a hologram because when you look at the base reality of everything, it's just atoms, right? It's all atoms and energy that is connecting everything. That's really it, right? And think about how crazy this is. 99% of atoms are basically empty. It's like clear space, right? So just when you think about this, you start to realize, you know, like, wow, this reality isn't just solid. Like it may appear solid. Things may appear solid, but that's just because everything, all this energy, the atoms are moving so fast. They're, so, they're moving so fast that it appears to be, things appear to be saw and um, yeah, you can touch it, but at the same time, you're not really touching anything. This is how I look at this life, this reality, and as it being a simulation. So I don't know if this video is real. I don't know if it's CGI, but my whole point is that this reality is more than what it seems, okay? This reality is it's just the third, it's more than just the third dimension, okay? This is, this life is like a dream, okay? The amount, the amount of things, the synchronicity that have in life, okay. But that, that's for another video, okay? So let me just show you some other planes, okay? Let's check this out, ready? It's like it's just hovering. It's like a big one as well. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so th that was one video. Like that clearly appears to me to be frozen in, frozen in the air, right? Just completely not moving. Here's some more. It's just, it's just floating there. Floating. Look at that. It's a 12 minute video of just compilations of this kind of stuff. So it's not just like one person, but like a lot of people have been seeing this. I mean, it's just so many different videos. So, I mean, what do you think? If you think that this is a glitch in the matrix, go ahead and comment that right now. If you think this is a glitch in the matrix, comment that right now. What do you guys think about this? Here's some of the here's some of the 
comments that I've been getting, okay? Okay, so let me show you this. Yes, the indigenous, the indigenous metaphysics known as the native elders' wisdoms taught that this thing we call reality is actually a spiritual dream that we are crossing into and out of because the same elements that create our dreams when we sleep are creating this moment now. Yes, so true. So true. Because this that's what I mean when I say this life is a dream. Because it's, especially when certain things happen in your life where you have a dream and then that thing literally happens like the day after or days after, right? Like some very specific things. It's crazy how those kinds of premonitions can happen. I feel like premonitions is just like one thing that is showing you that life is a dream, right? Life is seriously a dream. And that there's so much more to life. Like, like, like dreams are really just the fourth dimension because it is surpassing time. It is surpassing the 3D element of time, right? It's, you're able to interweave through it. So here's another comment. Let's see. I don't know about this video, but I love the caption. We are nothing but light energy entities incarnated in a three-dimensional biological hologram. There is another reality we cannot see other dimensions. There's actually a declassified CIA document that talks about this and their findings that through meditation, hypnosis, we can reach this alternate reality. It is not the brain that creates consciousness, but rather consciousness that creates the appearance of the brain. Pretty deep stuff. Exactly. I mean, yeah, you can even read about the, the documents. It's pretty wild, the things that they talk about. It's, it's shocking that they would even put it out. But hey, you know, um, I feel like that's what they... they, they They'll actually tell you some of the truth. Like they'll actually give you some of the truth. My ca that's exactly what my caption is talking about. Like this being a, a virtual reality. This is basically what this life is. And we're forgetting. Like we, we think it's so real, but it's really just like a virtual reality. And like this reality is just a transition period. The third, dimen the third dimension is just matter, right? This is just a transition period. This life is that we have right now. Like when we pass away, like the way I see it is we go into the astrals, right? And and there's so many different other paths that you can take in the afterlife, right? Because it surpasses it surpasses this third dimension of matter. Okay, so let's go back and look at some other of the some other comments. <clears throat> Planes in LA do this all the time, and Las Vegas do this all the times. So see it so a lot of people have been seeing this you know a lot of people this person right here saw it too i mean is that the same one um it's just so many people been seeing this kind of thing so many people like so that's the thing a lot of people have been seeing this happening but there's also a lot of disbelievers as well. There's also a lot of disbelievers as well. A lot of people who are actually saying that this is what planes do, it's a regular thing. When the landing pod is not ready, that they just float. They just literally float there. Like some, like this guy really said that. <laughs> like this guy really said that these planes, that they will literally hover when the landing pod isn't ready. Come on, is there a landing pod anywhere around here? There might be, but come on. You really tell me that they plan to just float like that. You Come on, you really tell me that they really just float there waiting for the landing pod to be ready. I'm sorry, but no, I'm sorry. But that does not sound like, that's just what I, it's just, this is just my perspective. A lot of people are even saying, you know, this is just physics and this is just physics and that planes do actually float like this, you know, and some people are saying it's just the optical illusion that it appears that it's frozen, but it's actually moving. So a lot of people, so people are saying it's an optical illusion at the same time. So, so many different split uh, perspectives. A lot of people saying they do see it. Other people saying you're an idiot because it's actually moving. And um, other people saying, yeah, this is a normal thing completely. This ain't no glitch in the matrix. That's what they're saying. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this some kind of glitch in the matrix or what? But my whole point is really that that I want to just uh, make with, with, with this kind of video, with these this kind of content, is that we're living in a reality that is basically like a simulation. Like 
all of this, this whole life, it appears to be solid, but really it's just energy that is moving so fast that it appears to be still and solid. But really, it's it's basically empty space. It's all really just like empty space, okay? And yeah, so that is my whole point with this. It, like, please ponder this. Please think about this, about this reality because it's so liberating to know even that it's more than just the third dimension, right? It is a liberating, I'll, I'll admit that, it's a liberating, it's a liberating concept. It's a liberating thing. It's more, I feel like it's more than just a concept, but it's a liberating thing to know that, you know, this life is not just the solid state, that when you pass away even, that you'll be going, that you'll be moving on into a, a place like the astrals. And that you could be reincarnated or you can live somewhere else like on a basically like on another planet or wherever but that's kind of like where all this uh this kind of content is leading to this has a lot of implications this kind of thing okay and so i don't know is it a glitch in the matrix or what but this that's basically my whole point with this video to show you that you know life is a hologram it's a it's a type of simulation i'm not saying that we're in a computer okay i'm not saying that we are in a computer but it could be something like that it could be something like that right like like a dream like as free dj leonard said right that life is basically like a dream and so look at just observe life and ponder this because this kind of stuff is real deep to think about and can really transform your life in many different ways like once you realize this like the law of attraction just goes to show you that this is all interconnected life is interconnected life is wonderful life is incredible mind-blowing and trippy at the same time life is not so obvious okay peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's obvious